Hello, my name is Dr. Day and I'm with Innovation Dermatology. Today I want to talk to you a bit about a simple drug-free way to minimize infection in eczema or irritated skin. A lot of the times when patients have eczema or other skin conditions where there's irritation, inflammation, and mild skin breakdown, they're at they're prone to developing infections from a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus, which is colonized on most people's body and skin surface. Consequently, they would need to go on an antibiotic to clear that infection. In individuals who have a broken skin barrier, one of the simple steps that you can take that have been shown in studies to reduce infection is a bleach bath routine. Although it sounds awful, a bleach bath routine is very easy to do and safe for your skin. Generally speaking, what you'd do is a few simple steps. The first thing is you'd fill a tub full of water, about 40 gallons of lukewarm water. You would then take about a quarter to a half cup of household bleach, Javex or Clorox. The important part about it, it needs to be about 6% sodium hypochlorite. That's then mixed into the tub to create a concentration of about 0.005% for you science geeks out there. That's a little bit more than a swimming pool. You'd then soak in the tub for approximately 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you would drain the tub and rinse your skin off with normal water. After you've rinsed the skin off, many times you'll have been given a prescription cream for the areas that are itchy or inflamed. You'd take that prescription cream and apply it to those areas. An important part of the bleach bath routine is to then lock in the moisture that you've gotten into your skin after that bath routine. So you'd then take a moisturizer, one ideally with ceramide, and apply it from the neck down to really lock in the benefits of that bleach bath routine. This can be repeated up to two times a week and can be used on an ongoing basis safely. A great video that I really like that depicts the steps of a bleach bath routine well can be found on the American Academy of Dermatology website. All you'd have to do is put into a search engine, AAD, eczema bleach bath routine, and that video would pop up for you outlining all the steps we've talked about. Just a word of caution, a bleach bath shouldn't be used on people who have an allergy to chlorine. Another important thing to realize is bleach should never really be directly applied to the skin. Although it's at a higher concentration, this can be quite an irritant. So hopefully this has dispelled some of the concern that people may have about a bleach bath routine and will help you get better control of your skin. Thanks.